my people my people good evening welcome back to this very channel we are here again with another news the governor of um, enugu state mba Oluwole mba you have seen it again today sunday police army especially nigerian army used their koboko started destroying people's businesses started crushing and flogging people they say goods worth millions of naira were crushed down today without any provocation in their own land in their own ancestral land these are strangers these are terrorists in uniform when we say what we say you 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 people will be thinking oh why are they carrying propaganda why are they destroying their region we are not destroying our region rather the governors are using the military and pleased to destroy our regions. Governor Mba, I thought you said uh, people are suffering because they are sitting at home on Monday. Three were killed the other day. You brought people that killed three. And then you brought people that crushed businesses. So what are you really doing? What are you do really doing if not that you are a paid agent to come and try to stop sit at home that you did not start? Without the release of Unam Dekani, you want to, by force, Igbo youth to stop sit at home. What do you think we would do so that Unam Dekani will be released? Ordinary to protest on the street, just brotherly protest like, Governor, please come and open shops for us. Three, we are gone down. And you're expecting them to come out tomorrow. Who will protect them? Is it the military that are crushing their businesses today? They are goods. Is it the same military that will protect them tomorrow? This is height of irony. Alright? Let me read what to word. What they wrote, Enugu residents cried out to Sahara reporters. They cried out so that this thing will at least come to the media. Let me read. They say several wounded, goods destroyed as Nigerian soldiers attack traders in Enugu. Several people trading at Holy Ghost and Old Park in Enugu North, local government area of Enugu State. We are brutalized by Nigerian soldiers on Sunday. Some of the affected traders who spoke to Sahara reporters on Sunday decried the level of destruction of their goods. They said they did not commit any offense. As I speak with you, I don't know what offense we traders committed. We have been trading on Sundays at Holy Ghost and the uh, Old Park, and we have not had any problems with the state or security agencies. Police always come in evening time to collect 1,005 from KK drivers, that's commercial tricycle riders and bus drivers. We have not had any issues with them. I was surprised when the soldiers came around 10 34 a.m. today and started attacking us with horse whip and um, destroying our businesses. <laughs> we don't we didn't block the road, so nothing warranted this barbaric and hateful attack from the Nigerian soldiers. A trader who gave his name as Ogochuku Odo narrated a driver whose windscreen was smashed call on the state governor, Pitamba, to stop these vicious attacks leashed out, leashed on um, peaceful residents of the state using the military and police. He said, it is regrettable that while other state governors are busy undertaking projects that impact positively on lives of their people, Mba is busy chasing shadows. You see? In the name of fighting seat at home. Sir reporters reported on Wednesday that a combined team from agents shot dead three traders during a protest against the ceiling of their shops at Obete Market by Governor Mba for not opening on Monday. Meanwhile, efforts by Sir reporters to speak with Deputy Director of Army uh, Public Relations. 82 Division, Lieutenant Colonel Jonathan 
Onua Kalo were unsuccessful as he did not answer his calls. <laughs> Nigeria. Oh, Ndibo. How long would this happen? Even in their ancestral land. Destruction of Igbo properties in Lagos. Destruction of Igbo properties in other northern regions. And now in Enugu. Yet, we say we have governors. Yet, people say they are representing us. Yet, they say we cannot separate from Nigeria. And they say we cannot sit at home. Even to protest, we cannot do. Keep protest there, yeah? Oku. If you sit at home, Oku noka. I'm telling you, what do you want Igbos to do? If they will trade today, and then sit at home on Monday, trade Tuesday, what have they lost? You all just want Mazinam de Kano, I mean name, to vanish. You just don't want him to be remembered. That is the essence of stopping this sit at home. Not that you love the Igbos or you want to feed them or you want to help them or you want to develop their markets. But all you call for is destruction. Is it not obvious now? Some have died last Tuesday. Other people's uh, businesses today destroyed Sunday. Not official hours because normally, even in Lagos, Sundays are not official day. You know, it's weekend that at least both police, army will give way for people to at least feel free. But no, that is not the case today. Even today in Enugu, at about 10.34 a.m., they came, smashed a lot of things, crushed and flogged people. You know, being so barbaric, Haters of Ndibo, leave Igbos alone. Go your way. You don't love them. Allow them to breathe. Why this all this long-term pretense? Who are you pretending for? And what do you really want that you've not got from Ndibo? What is that that Nigeria wants? That they've not got enough from Igbo people. Lagos settled with Ndibo. Is it not? Abuja, the same. Even all the northern region, they are benefiting from Biafra land. And you think that will continue forever? Even when our numbers, our population is growing? Even when the youths are wiser? Even when they are educated and more exposed? You think the same archaic way of barbaric acts will continue? Nigerian government is simply calling for war. And I know this war will swallow many of the people that call for war, especially this government. Their hatred will make the war to swallow them. Whatever they have labored for, they will lose it. Hence, you don't want the poor to eat. You don't want them to sit down. You don't want them to stand up. You don't want them to protest. You don't want them to sit at home. Even to come out again on Sunday, they were crushed down. The people that sent these dark agents, dark agents, agents of darkness, the people that sent them to Enugu will not say a word. They will never checkmate their activities, their barbaric acts against our people. And they want us to be, uh, uh, you know, applauding them. See, we know who is protecting us. The only people we know that are protecting us are the people that are fighting this military. Because if you don't fight this military, they have gone there for total annihilation. They want to wipe out the youths. They want to crush down our people. So the only people we know that are for our security are the people that will gun down this uh, military, wicked military men that don't know their duty, they don't know their boundary, they don't know anything about their uh, specifications or specific duties they should be performing. Militaries are meant to be at the borders, not in the street. Not in the street. 
you are simply unleashing terror on our people. That is what we want to tell Nigerian military. Copy to Mba. Have you seen it? See your love for your people. It's showing. If they show, if they happen.